Hey guys, the objectives of today's video is to talk about the fundamental building blocks for clay minerals, which are the silica and alumina sheets. I'll also spend some time on the structure of clay minerals. So the first fundamental crystal sheet is the tetrahedral sheet, also known as the silica sheet. The silica sheet is made up of a combination of silica tetrahedral units, and in a, in a single tetrahedral unit, we have a silicon atom which is surrounded by four oxygen atoms. Schematically, this silica sheet is represented by a trapezium for convenience. You can see in this diagram that the oxygen atoms at the base of each tetrahedron lie within the same plane, and that each oxygen atom is shared between two tetrahedrons. If you look at this next diagram, which shows the top view, you can see this formation results in the sheet having hexagonal holes. So the second fundamental crystal sheet we have is the octahedral sheet, also known as the alumina sheet. The alumina sheet is made up of octahedral units, each unit consisting of an aluminium or magnesium atom surrounded by six oxygens or hydroxyls. Schematically, the octahedral sheet is represented by a rectangle. Also notice that the rows of oxygens or hydroxyls occur within two planes. Now also notice there's an alternating pattern going on between the oxygen atoms within the two planes. See how when there's two oxygens in one plane, there's only one oxygen in the other plane. Now if we look at the top view of the alumina sheet, the black dot is represented by the aluminium atom, and the circles represent the oxygen atom surrounding it. Also note how there's dotted circles, and these are just the oxygen atoms within the plane below. So this forms one tetrahedron, uh, one octahedron, sorry. Now let's talk about the structure of clay minerals. The different ways these sheets are stacked can form different clay minerals, and having different cations in the tetrahedral or octahedral sheet can also result in different clay minerals. The cations which are substituted in the sheets are approximately the same size, and this is known as isomorphous substitution. There have been many clay minerals which have been identified, but the most common ones are the ones that are most important to engineering. These minerals being kaolinite, montmorillonite, And finally, illite. We'll talk about these material. Uh, we'll talk more about these minerals in more detail in the next video. Hope this helps, guys.